overall, science has shown that a person's character isn't really established until they're at least five years old. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh well, that's the way it goes. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. The only thing wrong with my big brother Charlie Brown is his lack of confidence. His inferiority and his lack of confidence. His clumsiness, his inferiority and his lack of confidence. His stupidity, his clumsiness, his inferiority and his lack of confidence. You're the kind of reminder we need. Did you know that Charlie Brown has never pitched a winning baseball game, never been able to keep a kite in the air, never won a game of checkers, and never successfully punted a football? Sometimes I marvel at his consistency. You have the ability, nobility, and the sense of honor that is very rare indeed. I think Charlie Brown has nice hands. It is truly a dog's life, filled with many challenges. You tracked and excited when that racket of cake comes home from school. You're a prince and a prince could be him. Now, Linus, I want you to take a good look at Charlie Brown's face. Would you please hold still a moment, Charlie Brown? I want Linus to study your face. Now, this is what you call a failure face. Study it carefully. You can rarely see such a good example. Notice the deep lines and the dull, vacant look in the eyes. Yes, I would say that this is the best example of a failure face that you're liable to see for a long while. You're a good man. You're a good man. Some days I wake up early and watch the sun rise. I think how beautiful it is and how my life lies before me. And I get a very positive feeling about things. Like this morning, for instance. The sky is so clear and the sun so bright. How could anything go wrong on a day like this? I'm late!
my report on the past. The past has always interested people. I must admit, however, I don't know much about it. I wasn't here when it happened. <laughs> Lunchtime is among the worst times of day for me. Always having to sit here alone. Of course, sometimes mornings aren't so pleasant either. Waking up and wondering if anyone would really miss me if I never got out of bed. Then there's nights too. Lying there and thinking of all those stupid things I've done during the day. And all those hours in between when I do those stupid things. Well, lunchtime is among the worst times of day for me. I can't. Well, I better see what I got. Peanut butter. Some psychiatrists say that people who eat peanut butter are lonely. I guess they're right. And when you're really lonely, the peanut butter sticks to the roof of your mouth. Boy, the PTA sure did a good job painting these benches. There's that little red-headed girl eating her lunch over there. I wonder what she would do if I went over and asked if I could sit and have lunch with her. She'd probably laugh right in my face. It's hard on a face when it gets laughed at. There's an empty space next to her over there. There's no reason why I couldn't just go over there and sit. I can do it right now. All I have to do is stand up. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. I'm so much of a coward she wouldn't even look at me. She hardly ever does look at me, in fact. I can't remember her ever looking at me. Why shouldn't she look at me? Is there any reason in the world why she shouldn't look at me? Is she so great and I'm so small that she can't even spare one little moment? She's looking at me. She's looking at me. <laughs> no, Sally, you're thinking of that other dress, the one I wore to Lucinda's party. The dress I'm talking about was the very light blue one that had a design embroidered around it. I don't remember. Here, the skirt went out like this, and it had these puffy sleeves like this, and a sash like this. Oh, yes, I remember. Yes, well, that was the dress I was wearing when I met Frida, and she told me she had seen one just like Lunch it. Lunchtime is among the worst times of date for me. If that little red-headed girl is looking at me with this stupid bag on my head, she must think I'm the biggest fool alive. But if she isn't looking at me, then maybe I can take it off quickly, and she never even notices it. On the other hand, I can't tell if she's looking until I take it off. Then again, if I never take it off, I'll never have to know if she was looking or not. On the other hand, it's very hard to breathe in here. <laughs> She's not looking at me. I wonder why she never looks at me. Oh well, one more lunch hour over with. Only 2,863 to go. All I need is one more time Gotta get that kind of light And I'm not that kind of guy Gives up easily You're a
musician. He <laughs> really come closer to it by directing the force of his life towards a single goal that he believes in. And I think that a man's personal search for happiness is not really a selfish thing either, because by achieving happiness for himself, he can help others to find it. Does that make sense to you? We had spaghetti at our house three times this week. <laughs> With a white dress and nice slippers and a big ballroom. But I, I guess that's sort of silly, isn't it, Charlie Brown? No, no, not at all. I mean, we all have our silly daydreams or ambitions or whatever you want to call them. In fact, there's one I've had myself for years, but I've never told anyone. Well, what is it, Charlie Brown? You can tell me. It's not the sort of thing I should tell. I don't think I should. Oh, come on. I wouldn't give it away. Come on. Well, I've always wanted to be called Flash. I hate the name Charlie. I'd like to be real athletic and have everyone call me Flash. I'd like to be so great at everything that all around school I mean. <laughs> Hey, Frida, listen to this. What's the matter, Sally? I don't know. I was jumping rope and everything was all right, but then suddenly it all seemed so futile. Beethoven used to be fond of taking long walks in the country. He was always inspired by the beautiful sounds of the countryside. You can't get back here with that ball! Beethoven had a nice... <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm losing my flavor. <laughs> hey Snoopy, we're home from school. Hi there, fellow. Gosh, it's good to see you. Oh, Snoopy, you're so adorable. Okay, Snoopy, now back to your doghouse. I'll be out later with your supper. I think Snoopy's such a wonderful dog. Me too. He's just about the best there is. Like me, I think there's the world. Isn't it remarkable how things turn out so well? Pleasant day, pretty sky, life grows on.
BC. Where was I? Oh, that's right. The pretty sky. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cozy home. Boy and bed. Sturdy roof. And in my head.
claim to anything. I 
think I'll watch television. I know what I'll do. If I can't be queen, then I will be very rich. I will work and work until I am very rich, and then I will buy myself a queendom. Good grief. Yes, I will buy myself a queendom, and I'll pick out the old queen and take over the whole operation myself. I will be head queen! Okay, switch channels. Are you kidding me? I'm not one of your royal subjects. What makes you think you can come in here and just take over? These five fingers. <laughs> Individually, they're nothing. But when I curl them together into a single unit, they become a fighting force terrible to behold. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Are you mad? I'm mad! I'm mad at the whole world! Are you mad at everyone? 
everybody in the whole world? I'm mad at everybody. Are you mad at all the animals and the bird and the fish? How about all the trees and the flowers? I'm mad at them too. I'm mad at everything. Are you mad at the sky and the stars? Are you mad at the ground? Are you mad at all the rocks? Are you mad at cars and buildings and TV and circuses and roller skates and bracelets? You didn't mention jump ropes. Are you mad at jump ropes? I'm especially mad at stupid jump ropes! <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. That doesn't sound right. Here, Lucy, this is for you. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, you can do it, just don't get nervous. Here, Lucy, this is for you. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, take it easy. You can do this. This is for you, Lucy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that little red-headed girl sent me a valentine. Maybe she did send me a valentine. Maybe she sent me a valentine and it's in my mailbox right now. I'm afraid to look. If I look and there's nothing there, I'll be crushed. On the other hand, if she did send me a valentine, I've got to look. Hello? <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing, 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 nothing
Do you know what, Lucy? I'm beginning to feel a lot better already. You're a true friend, Lucy. A true friend. That would be five cents, please. <laughs>
It's a magnificent day for chasing rabbits. The sun is shining, the air is fresh, the fields of woodlands lie open and inviting. If it's such a magnificent day, why spoil it for the rabbits? Come on, Snoopy. <laughs> Where's your old thrill for Chase? Where's your spirit of adventure? What kind of dog are you anyway? I am a sleeping dog. You take it from there. You should be ashamed of yourself wasting a perfectly good day like this. The sun is shining, the trail is clear. Let's get up there and catch us a big old rat. Well, I get the feeling she's determined. <laughs> All right, if that's what she wants. She might as well get her money's worth. Attaboy, Snoopy. We ought to see lots of game today. <laughs> Carry them back to their camp in 
know what's with the sheriff was guessing the visitor and all, but he rode away and he sounded the call. His men rushed in the air was flew. Peter Rabbit did sort of that kind of thing too. <laughs> the other people's name was Fred. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. <sighs> An examining work such as Peter Rabbit. It is important that the superficial characteristics of its deceptively simple plot should not be allowed to blind the reader to the more substantial fabric of its deeper motivations. In this report, I plan to examine the sociological implications of family pressure so great as to drive an otherwise moral rabbit to perform acts of thievery which he consciously knew were against the law. I also plan to explore Mr. McGregor's conflicting roles as farmer and humanitarian. Peter Rabbit is established at the start as a benevolent hero, and he finds his moral seams to be If I was to write it now, I'm not really rested, I could have said my thinking, which is no good at all. I'll get a fresh start tomorrow, and it's not due till Wednesday, so I'll have all of Tuesday, unless something should happen. Why does this always happen? I should be outside playing, getting fresh air and sunshine. I work just under pressure, and they'll be lots of pressure if I wait till tomorrow. I should start writing now, but if I start writing now, when I'm not really rested, it could upset my thinking, which is no good at all. The name of the rabbit is Peter. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, yes! Down came the stack on his head, smash him by the floor. The sheriff laughed and he left him for dead. Oh, but he was wrong. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Just said an arrow flew in. It was a sign for the fight to begin. Sing. And then it looks like the sheriff could win. Oh, but not for long. Away they ran. Just like rabbits who run a lot. As you can tell from the story of Peter Rabbit. Which this report is about. Rabbits, 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 chasing rabbits. How can they expect us to write a book report of any quality in just two days? How can they conspire to make life so miserable? Archie's used to call it 
against the person you might play. Right there on the spot of me. Na 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 na, you can't hit me. Actually, tough flying, he's just never said na 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 na. I just. Got this fog. It's mad enough to have to fight the Red Baron. Without having to fly on board like this. Alright, Red Baron, where are you? You can't hide forever. The sun's broken through. I can see the woods of monsters below. It's a bummer to our plane. How about you this time, Red Baron? Ah! He's not down out of the sun. He's tricked me again. I better run. Come on, Stumble Camel, let's go! Go, Camel, go! Someone has said that we should live each day as if it were the last day of our lives. Ah, this is it! This is the 
philosophies aren't for all people. And that's my new philosophy. best game of the season. And I want everyone out there playing with everything Charlie, he's got. I've come up with a new strategy for you. Why don't you tell the other team we're going to meet them at a certain place, only it isn't the real place, see? And then when they don't show up, we win by forfeit. Isn't that a good strategy? The thing we need is spirit and teamwork. If we really grit our teeth and bear down, I'm sure we can finish this season. Oh, too much trash talking us, Charlie Brown. I got even with them, though. I said, you guys think you're so great? Mozart was writing symphonies when he was your age. That really shut him up. I'll bet it did. <laughs> if you really better see the better down, I will be Browns. Perhaps you shouldn't be a playing manager. Perhaps you should be a bench manager. That's a good idea. You'd be a great bench manager, big brother. You could say, bench, do this, or bench, do that. When we get to the playing field, you could be in charge of where we put the bench. You could say, let's put the bench here, let's put the bench there. I can't stand it. What's the sense in our playing when we know we're going to lose? Even if there was a million to one chance that we might win, it would make some sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, there may not be a million to one chance, but I'm sure there's at least a billion to one chance. Yeah! yeah. Come on, give me a T. 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 Give me an E. E. Give me an A. A. Give me an M. M. What do you got? T. There is no team like the best team, which is our team right here.
dear pen pal, I'm told where you live is really quite far. Would you please send directions on how I can get where you are? Your friend, Charlie Brown. Say right to your face, Lucy, but it's true. You're a very crabby person. I know your crabbiness has probably become so natural to you now that you're not even aware when you're being crabby, but it's true just the same. You're a very crabby person, and you're crabby to just about everyone you meet. Now, I hope you don't mind me saying this, Lucy, and I hope you'll take it in the spirit that's meant. I think we should all be open to any opportunity to learn more about ourselves. I think Socrates was very right when he said that one of the first rules for anyone in life is know thyself. Well, I guess I've said about enough. I hope I haven't offended you or anything. Socrates got to do with it anyway, huh? Who was she anyway? Did she ever get to be queen? Tell me that. Did she ever get to be queen? Did she ever get to be queen? Who was Socrates anyway? Know thyself. <laughs> Now watch out for this one, it's a new fastball. Excuse me a moment, Charlie Brown, but I was wondering if you'd mind answering a few questions? Certainly, Lucy. I'm conducting a survey to enable me to know myself better. And first of all, I'd like to ask, on a scale of 0 to 100, using a standard of 50 as average, 75 as above average, and 90 as exceptional, where would you rate me in regard to crabbiness? Well, Lucy, Your ballots may not be signed, and all answers will be held in strict confidence. Well, Lucy, that's a very hard question to answer. You may have a few moments to think it over, or we can go on to the next question. I think I'd like to come back to it if you don't mind. This next question deals with certain character traits you may have observed. Regarding my personality, would you say that I am A, forceful, B, pleasing, or C, objectionable? Would that be A, B, or C, Charlie Brown? What do you say to that one, huh? A, B, or C, Charlie Brown, huh? Well, I guess I'd have to say forceful, Lucy, but... For forceful, I see. Well, we'll put a check mark next to letter A, then. Now, this next question deals with my ability to get along with other people. Would you rate my ability to get along with other people as poor, fair, good, or excellent? Well, I think that depends a lot on what you mean by get along with other people. <laughs> you know, make friends, sparkle in the crowd, <laughs> that sort of thing. Is there a place for abstention? Certainly. I'll just put a check next to none of the above. This next question deals with physical appearance. In regard to my beauty, would you say that I am stunning, mysterious, or intoxicating? Well, gee, Lucy, I don't know. You look just fine to me. Stunning. <laughs> now I think it's time we get back to that first question, Charlie Brown. On a scale of 0 to 100, using a standard of 50 as average, 75 I... Remember the question, Lucy. Well? 51? 51 is your crabbiness rating for me. Well, that about does it, I guess. Thank you very much for your help in this circuit, Charlie Brown. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. It was a pleasure, Lucy, any time. Come on, Snoopy. Oh, just a minute. Just, just one more question, Charlie Brown. Would you answer yes or no to the following question? Is Lucy Van Pilt the sort of person you would have as president of your club or civic organization? Certainly, Lucy. By all means. Well, that does it, I guess. Thank you very much. Now let's see. It's 51, none of the above. Schroeder was right. 
I can already begin to feel myself being filled with the glow of self-awareness. Hello, Sally. I'm conducting a survey, and I was wondering... 110 C, poor, none of the above, no. And what are you going to do about that dent you made in my bicycle? <laughs> it's amazing how fast one of these surveys gets around. Hello, Linus. I'm conducting a survey, and I was wondering if you'd mind answering a few questions? Sure, go ahead. On a scale of 0 to 100, using a standard of 50 is average, 75 is above average, and 90 is exceptional, <laughs> where would you rate me in regard to crabbiness? You're my sister. <laughs> that's not the question. No, but that's the answer. <laughs> Come on, Linus, answer the question. Look, Lucy, I know that if I give you any sort of an answer to that question, you're going to slug me. Linus, the survey based on dishonest answers is like a house built on a foundation of sand. Would I be spending my time to conduct this survey if I did not expect complete candor in all responses? I promise not to slug you. Now what is your crabbiness rating for me? change her mind. Now I add up these two columns and that gives me my answer. There, it's all done. Now let's see what we've got. It's true. I'm a crabby person. I'm a very crabby person, and everybody knows it. I've been spreading crabbiness everywhere I go. I'm a super crab. It's a wonder anyone would talk to me. It's a wonder I have any friends at all, or, or even associates. All I've done is make life miserable for other people. All I've done is spread unhappiness and resentment everywhere I go. Where did I go wrong? How could I have been so selfish? Don't talk to me, Linus. I don't deserve to be spoken to. I don't deserve to breathe the air I breathe. I'm no good, Linus. I'm no good. That's not true. Yes, it is. I'm no good, and there's no reason why I should go on living on this planet. Yes, there is. Name one. Just tell me one good reason why I should go on living on this earth. Well, for one thing, you have a brother who loves you. <laughs> Every now and then, I say the right thing. But I'm sure Lucy knows now she can't be crabby anymore. Anymore! Where is everybody? I told them to be here. You told them to be here! If we don't rehearse, we can't sing at the assembly tomorrow. The assembly tomorrow! Charlie Brown! Charlie Brown! Linus! Linus! Lucy! Give me back my pencil, you blockhead! No! Not until you give me back my crayon! That's my best pencil, you If you don't give me back my pencil, I'm gonna tell Sally what you Stop said Stop that! Her. We've got to rehearse. You're late. What did you say about me, Linus? He said- Lucy! Stop that! I'm sorry I'm late, but Snoopy, there's no time to be sorry. What did he say? He said- Quiet! Now, remember, this is a mood piece. We must paint a picture with music and words. And concentrate! Oh. Remember, Adagio con brio. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo grow, where the deer in the antelope play. Give me my pencil. Where seldom is heard a discouraging on your life, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Give me a lady. Give me that 
Behold, a cream bowl of meat and meal, which is brought forth to ease our hunger. Behold, the flank flat and moist and sweet, which has been sent to slake our thirst. Well, there's no need for a big production. Just get off that doghouse and eat. Happiness is fine. 
finding a pencil. He's now a sausage. Telling the time. Happiness is learning to whistle. Tying your shoe for the very first time. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. 